Here's a guy with me now who knows the value of a well-planned yard and garden, our own master gardener, Cisco Morris. Oh, and I love stone. I, I love rocks and it stone. It has a natural look that nothing else can match. And, and, it, and the way it changes as the moss grows on it. Oh, it's uh, Growing up in a place that's more arid, seeing what like natural stone, when it attaches to them, it's so beautiful. Yeah, the only thing I recommend is if you're going to bring in stone, you might have an expert do the work like that. Uh, because uh, I put a two-ton rock through the side of my house. No, you did not. But marriage counseling is getting more and more expensive oh, all the my, time. Mary huh? is the most patient woman. <laughs> did she, you really put it through the side of your mm -hmm. house? And she wasn't all that patient that day. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, should I? I was driving this big backhoe. I thought, should no. I stand my ground like a man or should I run? Oh, you, <laughs> I, I, I hope so. Oh my gosh, well it's amazing that she still hangs out with you and I understand you just got back from three weeks in merry old England. Oh, we had in so Cornwall, much fun. In Cornwall, In Cornwall, which is a really neat, it's the southwest corner. Uh, I just forgot the name of that town, but uh, look at how beautiful they are. Wow. We had to walk through this uh, churchyard every day to get to our Airbnb, way up how at the cool. top of a hill. Look at how the paths, they go 640 miles oh along the goodness. southwest coast of England. The hiking is so beautiful. That is gorgeous. Just unbelievable. And don't forget, the pubs are a oh, lot of fun, too. Oh, that's how you keep a merry man. You can <laughs> sure she is she's well supplied. She's quite the beer connoisseur. Is she, she? She's very discerning about it. Oh. If it's not good, she, she goes, I want another one, you know? Good for her. <laughs> I love it. Well, I'm so glad you all had fun. Yeah. And while you were over there, you saw a cool succulent, which surprises me because I usually, you know, attribute succulents to more arid, warm climates, deserts, but you've got this beautiful one. And what is it called? It's called Aeonium. This one Schwarzkopf. Schwarzkopf. Yep. Naomi. And the first time I ever saw one of these was down in Cornwall, England, because they have a, a, a real warm uh, current that goes by. Oh, okay. And it's kind of tropical down there. Now these grow in South Africa, where I've seen them like crazy growing okay. there. But they're so cool, you know. And uh, these these leaves could get quite a bit bigger. Really. Uh, this has been dormant all summer. Now, as the moist air comes, it starts to grow, and these leaves will get, you know, two or three times bigger than they are right no now. No kidding. So it wants the wintry, more weather, or rainy, wet. Well, it likes wet only in the winter time because that's when it grows in South Africa where it's uh -huh. native. So it kind of does the same thing here. So if you water to live a tweedle out of this all summer long, <laughs> you could kill it. You got at least. Well, that's weight. what I was gonna ask because succulents typically do not require a lot of water. I've killed many in my in my day. So how much do you water this? Well, if I if I pick this up and it feels super dry, I give it a nice thorough okay. watering in the summer. But that's only Is this water. Is dry? It gets. I can't tell. Uh, it's actually that's such light soil, so you'd be able to tell if you uh, first planted okay. it. You okay. know. All but right. uh, yeah, so but I leave them out all winter long unless there's a freeze. A freeze will kill it. A freeze will kill so it. So I gotta okay. watch the King Five weather report. That's you know? right. We got you covered. <laughs> that is really so. What about fertilizer? I've never fertilized a succulent, but I know that some of the soils have fertilizer in them. Well, I but you wouldn't want that because it would fertilize it too much. So okay. I use cactus soil, and then I use a good organic liquid okay. fertilizer and okay. and the one thing about this the number is 441 there's a lot of nitrogen in there okay, okay. and that's what i want because i want these leaves to get big now you know okay so the so you got the the fertilizer you got the water is there any other tricks to growing them in the winter well here's the weird thing you really do have to leave them out in the sunshine or rain shine yeah, in the rain, winter yeah, okay and then if a freeze is coming, I throw it in my unheated garage, but as soon oh, okay. as it's nice, it comes back out. Oh, and all right. So you wait to fertilize until about, uh, you know, mid-September or something like that, because that's when they start to grow now. Okay, okay. Um, how, so you mentioned that the leaves will get really big. Like, how big? Like this big? Yep, yeah, yeah, that big. I really? mean, I've had them this big. No kidding. Yeah. I think you're telling me a <laughs> no, fish tale. No, me, Phil. I had them.
news bag. I don't know about that. <laughs> so, are they just like other succulents? If I like were to steal a clipping, I could make my own. Yeah, here's the amazing thing. I had one about three, twice as big as this. Uh -huh. And Mary tried to move it as a favor for me, but it was so top heavy, it, it wasn't her right fault, off. broke right oh. off. So I had, so I cut all these little ones off and let them callus over. You gotta let the roots, uh, the, the end of the branch has to get a callus on it. it oh, takes about a week. Before you plant it? Yep, then I stuck them in cactus soil and they were they were teeny like this. This little babies. And now look at how big they've been. They're rooting in there. I'll be able to take would, these each out and plant them as my own plant. Interesting. Okay, I'm here. For, I did not think about having to let them callus first. Well, thank you for introducing us to this happy little succulent. How fun! Yeah, it's fun. Everybody that comes by my house has to know what this thing is. All right, that's they the rule. They love it. That's the rule. Oh, thank you, Cisco. <laughs> so glad to have you back.